before we get to the breakdown, let's add some, you know, stabs and something just to, um, you know, emphasize it, maybe vocal chop, something real quick in like 15 minutes so we can get to the breakdown and then to the drop, so. I'm not really happy about this ethereal city thingy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to warp it, change it by tones and put it down by 12. So it's a little bit less, you know, ugly. Yeah, that's much better. So we have all of those percussions, all of those parts. Let's add some simple acid stops. So let's insert the MIDI. This one will be on its own. Let's find Serum. And just something easy, easy to listen to, you know, it doesn't have to be super crazy. So Serum, let's see what we have in that reorder bank. Acid, classic. This is good. Let's use this one. If we play around with the acidity. So let's just add like a simple stuff, something like a let's put it down. And just like a really simple. Something like this. Uh, again, we can use the envelope flow or something, or we can just automate this and just let it do this. So what I like to do when I'm doing these kind of things, I, I always like copy this couple times, and then I create an audio track, and I'm gonna insert this 33 serum to play in this 34 audio. Let's turn it in so we can hear it. And I'm gonna record whatever I'm doing with that serum. Basically, I'm gonna record it, so I have like a couple options in there. And I'm moving the wrong button. It's coming. Let's go row from the bottom. Okay, so the last one sounded pretty cool. So now I have like, you know, various options on what it does. So I don't need this serum anymore. And I just have my audio file here. And I can just choose in between. And I like this last one. That was pretty cool. I'm gonna take it, put it here. And we get this option. And then... And on this one, I just like the ending over here, that half. So I'm just going to put it like this. And that's it. That's all I need to do. I can add some reverb to it. There we go. And let's, you know, get rid of the low end. Probably needs to be a little bit lower on the volume. And let's add some simple side chain. I'd like to steal it from over here. And let's just call it Acid. Let's hope it sounds good. Getting there. Nice. We just need to add some really crazy delay to it. So I like to use echo for this kind of things. And there is this little thingy called slapback. That's the one. So that's my first one. See, so it like adds these irregular notes inside. Let's change this one to one eight. And now just a normal echo in front of it, just to make like this long, crazy delay. That's on. Let's go with one eight dot and one four. And let's go nuts. Mm. 
maybe more high end. And less low end. Okay, starting to sound nice. Change to notes and one four. Yeah, pretty good, not bad. Let's see how it sounds now. Maybe a little bit of saturation would do. So again, just a multiband dynamics over here and a multiband compression. It just always adds so much. Also, we have the OTT, which might work. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's it. It has a lot of high end, so I'm just gonna tame it down over here. That's cool. So I have some assets, I'm happy. I can now turn it down because it's too loud and maybe just add something here in the middle, you know, to compensate for whatever is happening there. And I remember we did this little atmosphere here, which sounded pretty cool. So we can use it always here before the acid on these two. Let's see if, it's, if you can hear it at all. It's there, it's quiet, but it's there. It does what we need it to do. Okay, let's add some uplifters here and there. We're gonna need one here. And we know we need to move it by one quarter for that beautiful effect. So. Our assets come back. And maybe let's add a lead like chords that would be like playing alongside this whole thing you know and just like add more atmosphere to it like a like a dun 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 so let's again come over here we're gonna be serum i'm gonna use something really simple from my bang again see this is a self-advertisement amazing right i'm gonna use the jordan tobias lead it sounds like this We're gonna give it a long release. And let's just do something like one bar thing. And just simple chords, just do it like we had with the pads. So let's go one sixteenth. Actually one eighth would be better. And we just do the simple chords. Sounds like this. Okay, let's lower this down. This is what I want, this, this kind of sound. We're gonna be adding some little bit more reverb here. And we're gonna let it build up so it like slowly comes in. And uh, we're just gonna come over here and just take the filter from here. So it only adds like uh, some extra energy to the whole thing as it progresses. Now, I uh, already have a sidechain here, so I'm going to turn it on so it actually works and does something. Let's see how this sounds now. I want to hear a little bit of it. Because as it goes, it's going to just lift up the whole mood. Remember my little laziness with these acids. So what I can do, I can take these little short notes. And just like on this second half, I can just add some extra notes here. So I can do like, a, just like, da -da -da -da, you know, so it goes like this. It 
it's much easier to work with samples. I know you can't change it, but you're just gonna use it in this track, so who cares? You know, I don't want to use it again. It's no need. Towards the end. Here we go. How it sounds from here. Maybe less reverb, because now it's like drowning the reverb like crazy. Okay, let's add a boom. I think that's it for for the intro. We can always come back to it if we have more time, but I don't want to waste too much time on the intro if we want to do the main part. <laughs> 